Christmas. Christmas. We're up on top of Oak Mountain, enjoying a beautiful Christmas morning. Some holiday-ish French toast. Yes. What's all in the French toast? I know there's nutmeg and... Nutmeg, clove, cardamom, cinnamon. Some good stuff. Very holiday ish if that's a word. I don't think it's a word. No, it's not. But we camped here last night, and uh, in our previous vlog that uh, should have been posted before this, we were at the Quartz Crystal we Mine. To the Ron Coleman Crystal Mine. I was about to say Diamond Mine again. again. Um, and then we had, well, you'll just have to watch the vlog. We don't want to spill it all. It was a good time. Um, but today I'm going to, for the first time, cook in a Dutch oven. So uh, it'll be new for me so I can learn. Uh, I have a chart of how many coals you put on top, put on bottom to regulate temperature. So we'll see how that turns out. That's going to be our Christmas dinner. And leftovers for tomorrow's camping experience. We should be good. Yeah. But we will stay here for a little bit. And we're going to pack up camp and try to find some camp spot next to water because we really want some mm -hmm. some of the experiences of water we've been up on the mountaintop for three days now so we're ready for some uh water action some rapids and what have you mm -hmm. but we're gonna sit here and enjoy the rest of this delicioso mello and uh we'll see y'all here in a little bit just taking it all in good times So we have made it to our next campground, and if it looks familiar, this is Crystal Prong. This is the where we did the cleanup at, and it is still clean, and it looks better than it ever has. Our fire pit's still here, and all our wood. So uh, we're gonna get everything taken out, set our tent up, and then we're gonna get started with the uh, Dutch oven. We have, what is this thing called? Charcoal starter. A charcoal starter. I think it has a different name for it. Um, so we want to heat our oven at 375 degrees, which means roughly about 30 charcoal briquettes. We've got 32 in there just in case. And we put them in there. What did you do, Cody? Uh, I put some wood and stuff at the bottom and started it. Actually, we, yeah. Okay, so it says we need to have it going about 15 minutes before we start to cook. So while that's going, I'm going to prepare the rest of the recipe. So the recipe calls for uh, sauteed spinach. So instead of steaming it, I'm just going to, well, it's just after wilted spinach. So I'm going to just go ahead and we'll do a little bit at a time. Let it wilt a little bit in here. Oh yeah. It's going to be cold. Oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I just put my, stuck my hands in it. Oh. Huh? It was pretty bad. Yeah. All right. I feel great. Oh, oh. That hurts. That hurts bad. I can't feel my feet. Are they so, cooled off now? yeah, they're cooled off. I could probably put my 
my hiking boots back on. <laughs> Good lord, that was rough. So our last vlog where we actually cleaned up this area, we said that this is Kelly's very first place to go camping and fall in love with nature. If you didn't watch that, you need to go back and watch it. It was a cool day. We got a lot done. This whole entire area was trashed out. But the cool thing is we've, all, we've also had two black bear encounters here. Mm -hmm. And last time we were here cleaning up trash, there was bear gat yeah. down there. So we actually right had no. we actually had our tent over here last time, or the very first time. We had it right here, and something well, more like right here. And something walked. Actually, it wasn't something. It was a black bear because I looked outside and saw it. And it walked, walked around, and went over here where all our kitchen stuff was set up, and it moved and licked our kitchen, our cooking stove. Then the next time. We were down the way and Kelly was on a lounger and took a nap and I was in the water and it walked up behind Kelly as she was lounging and fell asleep. But they didn't bother us. Besides that, they didn't bother us at all. Hello. Okay, so first thing you want to do is we have a... Oh, this dish doesn't really have a name. I call it a drunken pasta. Um, so this is just a can of crushed tomatoes. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of tomato paste and I'm just gonna eye it. I say one, two. These are sun dried tomatoes in oil and we want to reserve the oil. So, what that means is we're gonna drain it. Add the tomatoes. So I'm going to chop up two tablespoons of garlic. So I chopped up the garlic and we're gonna go ahead and add that to the pot. Spinach that I sauteed earlier. First one I need is the basil. We've got the basil. Basil. Which we need one tablespoon. Next, I'm going to need oregano. 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 And I need two teaspoons. So, Kelly, tell me, how are you able to know the amount without knowing the amount? When you've measured it out in the teaspoon, tablespoon setup so many times, you can just kind of see how much it is. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Maybe you like more oregano. Maybe you like more basil. Um, salt and pepper. Ooh. Oh, I the spinach. Some of that fresh cracked Himalayan sea salt. I don't know what freshly cracked on salt really does for it, but. Can I get some of that? Sorry. Hungry some... man here. I'm starving. I got There's the cheese over here. I'm no, like... don't eat that. There's some chips in the bag. If you want. Aren't we saving that for the thing anymore? There's other chips in there too. Mm. And then we got what? Okay. We got some. Now we need pepper? the red pepper flakes. Man, I'm good. Half a teaspoon. Look at this skill. Yes. So well, I like it to be spicy. Yeah, let's put a little bit more in there. So I'm also going to add one cup of red wine. You can use whatever red wine you like. Uh, we have them all back on hand, so that's what I'm going to add. And then we'll do the water. So one and a half cups of water? Yep. One and a, boom. One and a half cups of water. After you've stirred all those ingredients together, you're gonna add your pasta. I've got a rigatoni. And you're gonna put it in there dried, so you're not gonna boil it. And this is one pound. Now, say you're halfway through cooking it, you pull it out, you stir it in, you're like, Liquid's already absorbed and it's not done. You can add more water, wine, or chicken broth. And instead of the wine, you can also add um, vegetable broth or chicken broth. After we've added your pasta, you can add your cheese. We've got Parmesan and uh, Fontina. So now we're gonna mix all that together. Oh. 
All right, so we have nine coals on the bottom shaped in a circle. We have 17 or 18 on top. Um, all, oh, you saw how it was on the top. So I've got my timer set for 40 minutes and we'll come check it at that point. It says to cook 40 or 45, so we'll check the pasta and see how it's cooking. But then we also have to add another cheese on top and let it go for about 15 more minutes. Kelly's also got some, what kind of bread is this, honey? She's got some I don't know bread, and it looks delicious. All right, now it's been two more minutes. We're going to check the noodles and see if they're done. Ooh. That looks really good. So I've got to put this other cheese on top of it. Burrata. It's actually a mozzarella cheese and it's cream filled. And that's going to go right on top. I'm trying to push these noodles down in here a little bit more. Oh, these are the big ones. I usually get the little ones. But there's only four in here. But they will break open and melt evenly. So we need to put that back on? Yep, put the lid back on. Good. And now we're gonna give it 15 more minutes. Let me get my timer going. Okay, so here we are. Should be done by now. We've got the extra cheese on top. We put some extra coals to kind of broil it a little bit. So let's see. This is gonna be hot. All right. Oh. That is perfect. So guess what that means? Dinner? It's time to eat. It's time to eat? Yep. I'm starving. It is time to eat. I have been looking forward to this moment all my life. But... Get me one of those big old cheeses. Right on top. Got some of that bread back there too, right darling? Yep. I never called you darling, darling before, it's a new one. That's the ending result. How's it, Kelly? Good. Mm. Dinner was great. If I have a mark on my forehead, it's because of the light. Oh, yeah, me too, probably. <laughs> yep. Anywho, we just did dishes. Uh, it's What time is it? Probably like six. It's 627. Yeah. Anywho, we are going to go ahead and just relax about the fire for the rest of the evening. Plus it's dark. It's really dark. It's getting a little wild. We hear something across the way. Beaver. Beaver was the last time that we were here. But uh, we're thinking it's, it's sounds like an armadillo or something. Yeah. And then coyotes are howling again. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah. It's a little cooler down here at the top because there's extra humidity in the but air. But there's not that wind. There is not that wind. But it has been a great Christmas day. Did you enjoy it's been it? Different. Yeah. It's it's felt like three days, like you said a yeah. minute ago. It felt like a really long day. Uh, we were exploring a lot, trying to find something in the spot we wanted to try that we've never been at before and camped. Taken was again. taken again. I'm telling you, like there has been so many people out in the national forest camping. They were in an RV the second time we came by. For Christmas, we thought we'd have all of this to ourselves, mm -mm. but everybody it's had even the same idea than on a weekend. ID. I'm sorry, I said the same idea. Idea. Yeah. Yeah, it was even more packed than on a weekend. It's crazy. Man. But we're going to catch y'all in the morning. And we're going to make something good for breakfast. See you then. Good night. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. We had a really good sleep last night. I actually woke up once, and once again, I thought I was in my own bed. Really nice. Uh, this morning for breakfast, I'm gonna do, so I, you know, this all kind of looks like my burritos. 
but I had actually bought some chorizo, so we're gonna try to make a breakfast hash with potatoes, seasoned the same way I do for my burritos. Got some avocado, eggs, cheese, and chorizo. So we'll see how it turns out. Got my potatoes going, I have my eggs ready. I'm fixing to work on an avocado. Potatoes look delicioso. Oh, two avocados. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. So we've got our eggs now, the potatoes, avocados, trezo, beef trezo, right? Mm -hmm. And Kelly's gonna roll these up. No, I'm just making myself a burrito. That's what I want. I oh, you, you want a burrito? Hash. Okay, well then I'm I'm having the hash, and she's gonna roll these up and cook them for herself. Or you know, thing. So this is Cody's dish, <laughs> and this is Kelly's dish. This is huge. This is huge. Mine's pretty big too. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all these. I'll eat them. So this is gonna be really good. I got some hot sauce, got the eggs and hash up under it. Got a little potato right there, check that out. Had to dig that out of there. Got my chorizo. And I got about a pound of hot sauce on it. Should be good. Those are pretty. So today is gonna be kind of chill, sort of chill. We're gonna, what are we doing today? Pedal around here. I think we might take y'all over to uh, just down the way, probably a two minute drive is the entrance to Flatside Wilderness, uh, Cedar Creek with Cedar Falls. Might go over there and put around and let y'all see the beauty in that area. It's pretty sweet. We're not going to travel too far from here. No. We are about to go adventure out for the day. We took a nice little shower um, with our portable shower. And it's still a beautiful day. We have a couple of clouds, but the sun is breaking through. I know it's supposed to start raining tomorrow afternoon, which we'll be out of here by then. Um, but I guess we'll just see you out on the road. So this is basically the entrance to Flatside Wilderness and we never really camp here because this place is always busy. There's always a ton of people camping here. It's really popular. Uh, it's gorgeous though, but we just like to come here for the day because you know, we like our privacy. Uh, but if you, as you can tell, I mean, you got fire ring, fire ring, and then people sometimes get right up in here and build a fire. So we're starting the hike to Cedar Falls and we're entering the wilderness area. Uh, this is an old forest road that got closed down when this was designated as a wilderness, I think in 1977, not sure.
So now we're gonna go to another trail that's in the same area. It's kind of just an offshoot from where we parked. Uh, there's some cascades down here. It's pretty cool. You had to get a little snack. Yeah, snack. That's good. There it is. It's got quite a bit of water in it. Yeah. Look how clean it is, people. Got a little blue to it. But it's really gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Especially with the sun coming through right now at an angle. Look up in there. Here, I'll let you take it further. Oh. She wants me to take it further so she can eat all the rest of the chips. <laughs> I know your game plan. I know your style. back to camp. We've sat here for a little bit, take it all in, but we also have pretty water by our tent, so we're gonna go back over there and hang out. Made it back to camp. All our stuff is still here. Yay! So I think we're just gonna hang out and chill, enjoy this beautiful day that we've been given in December. So when I, I say we're gonna sit here and relax, so I'm, I'm sitting here and relaxing. And then here's Cody. I don't know if you can see him. He just walked across the river. You see him? He's got his blue shirt on. Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> no, I'm filming you. Anyway, Had you found some quartz crystals. that's cool. So yeah, that's what's happening right now. You know, Cody was over there uh, climbing around and he brought back all these quartz crystals. Yeah, look at that. Look at these. A little piece in this little point. I mean, they're not huge, but... I didn't mean to find them. I wasn't looking. I just found them. This one was like a, like Wolverine, like like Shing got three. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I wish I could be Wolverine sometimes. That'd be cool. Oh, look at this one. This is my favorite. Nothing came off of it when you did that. <laughs> See all those little points on there. Oh, so it's starting to get a little chilly. Mm -hmm. We time got to time on. to put our winter clothes on. Exactly. But we're going to reheat what we had last night. We're making some coals instead of using the charcoal. We thought we would test out just wood and uh, get some coals built up on wood, put that around the yep. Dutch mm -hmm. oven and re have uh, leftovers. Yeah. Reheat what we have. That's had. what's good about that recipe is it makes a lot, because we eat a lot anyway, but it makes enough that we both had two servings, one large serving and one small serving last night. So it's enough that we could both have a general helping serving and I have bread left over. So we're going to do the bread again on the uh, cast iron over the wood. We did not leave the food in that container or uh. the Dutch oven the whole entire time. I was just thinking about that. No, we did not. No, we put it in a... We had a container. We had a separate container. She was prepared. She brought it. And it's been in the ice chest mm -hmm. uh, since last night. Yep. So we're done. Here's our delicious meal. Dinner was really good. And now we're going to have our little nightcap. We're going to go to bed kind of early since it gets dark at like, what, 530? 
Yeah, I was about to fall because we're kneeling by the fire so that yeah. you can actually see us and using the headlamp. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we're going to go to bed kind of early and that way we can get up right when the sun comes up because tomorrow we're going to go mountain biking. We're not sure yet where, but we're going to go somewhere. Uh, we have drug our mountain bikes with us this entire time just because we wanted to go mountain biking somewhere. So it's going to happen tomorrow. And they need to be washed. They're extremely mm -hmm. muddy. Yeah, now they're full of mud. So we will see you in the morning. Catch you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. At this point, we're trying to make a very large fire because our cots are soaking wet. How? I don't know. They're wet. So, we've got a fire trying to go here. This morning, we have a simple breakfast. I have blueberry muffins and coffee. Uh, we're gonna pack up this morning and take a different drive out to go check out some other camp spots and then possibly we're going to go mountain biking it's supposed to rain they say later it's a little overcast so i'm thinking they might be right we haven't had phone service in about two days so we haven't been able to check the weather but we're going to check it whenever we head out so this is how wet our army cots are it's uh it's insane we have to let those air dry but the fire's taken off. Aim directly at it. You ready to eat? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. So we've left camp and I told you we were supposed to go mountain bike riding, but it's such a beautiful day and it smells so good and clean out here. We wanted to stay. We took this road and how long do you think we were on this road for? Dude, I don't know, but I, think I, I don't know. We don't know where we are. This is new territory. And it looks like you could possibly keep going that way or this way, but I think we're just going to walk around and not push our, our luck here. But this is a road that we came up from there. And then we parked there. Looks like you can walk this way. There's water. So this is right up our alley, just going down roads, exploring. <laughs> this is the definition of don't just tour explore. Yeah, so our slogan is don't just tour explore. And here is Crystal Prong. Wow. Yeah, we'll keep going. The problem of exploring is you don't know when to turn back around and call it quits. So we're gonna head back to the truck. And there was another trail that went the other way. Do you want to look like that one, Missy? Yeah, we'll go check it out we're here. We're going shortly. the wrong way. No, we're going the right way. So this was that second road. Where we park off the main road, there's two forks. Forks. We did the first one. This is the second one. And this is as far as we got in these little thorny things. I hate them. They're pretty prominent here. And then it goes, looks like you could have taken it this way. Ow. You okay? That thorny thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And this water, I think, is a spring fed creek or stream because there's fish, little fish all in this, which means there has to be water in it constantly. Not only that, you can see a distinct line where set, or moss grows and then stops. Wow, that feels really good. And you can tell that stream runs up under the road over here because as you walk through that mud, yeah. it's like wet. Oh, 
Last stop in the forest for today. We took a different way home, like we said, and we found a bunch of camp spots, but also there's these cascades. It's called Brown Creek Cascades. And we're out here, right here at this campground, campsite, and the trail's right here. So we're gonna go see what it's all about. All right, we made it. Short little hike on a clean trail. Look how pretty this is. I've never been here. Have you been here, Cody? Never been here. Driven by it a thousand one times. Seen it on the map, I know that. Mainly because that, that little stretch is always so packed. This is a really popular area for campers all along this road and there's 90% of the time always somebody was camping there. But surprisingly, there wasn't anybody being it's hunting season. Yeah. Look how pretty this is. This is awesome. Holy cow, I wanna come here in the summer so I can swim here. I bet it's pretty chilly here too in the summer. Oh yeah. So this is it for the National Forest. We're done for today. This was Brown Creek Cascades. Yes, we're in Brown Creek Valley. We kept going up, but the Cascades were further down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just followed the creek a little bit further. I guarantee you it's spring fed. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. For sure. So we are gonna go back to base camp and clean up and unpack everything. And we're gonna go out to eat. We're gonna take you guys with us. We're gonna go to one of our favorite restaurants. It's a Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, don't say the name because it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say the name right now. But it's a great place to go after you've been out in the National Forest. They've got a great chillaxed feeling and great drinks and great food. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't ask for a better group of people to hang out with either because they love this stuff. The owners of the yeah. place love this stuff they're as well. Cool. So they're great to talk with because they get all excited about everything outdoors. Mm -hmm. Camping and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. we will catch y'all there. Cool. So this is Baja Grill and this is one of our favorite restaurants go to after camping. We had a great time. Um, tired? I'm a little tired. It's been a long trip. Holy camping, a lot of fun. So we just want to wish everyone a happy holiday. And a Merry Christmas. And if you like this vlog, please give us a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know exactly when we have new videos hitting the screen. And subscribe. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we will catch you on the other. See you next time.